next chart appearance, you score another top ten hit, We'll Bring the House Down, and you continue to record and tour until 1985. Uh, as just about the biggest selling act of the 70s, you've been awarded countless gold and platinum discs, and more recently, you were on the receiving end of a heartfelt tribute from a certain Vic Reeves and Bob Mortimer. <laughs> <laughs> This is a great cup of soup. It's really uh, dinner -y. I disagree. It's more um, supper -y. No, it's more my meaning. No, you're all wrong. It's lunch flavoured. Oh. <laughs> all right, not I. <laughs> that lip movement was very uh, useful to me in my teenage years and uh, got me a lot of girlfriends. And it was based on Noddy, I presume, was based it? Based on Noddy, <laughs> But do you remember, Noddy, we were in the Britannia Hotel, yourself and myself, in the bar, and there was a banging on the ceiling, and the man's legs came down from the ceiling. He dropped onto the floor and headed straight to the bar and was then ejected. Mm. We don't know what happened, though. We suspect you know the truth, Noddy. Yes. And you just, in fact, saved me from um, a violent attack by Alex Higgins. I never got a chance <laughs> to thank you for that. Anyway, Noddy. Get down and get with it! <laughs> Not you're very much part of today's music scene with your own weekly show on Piccadilly Radio in Manchester. In 1993, you hosted a Radio 1 series on glam rock called Glitter and Twisted. And last year, you captained one of the teams on a satellite TV pop quiz, Roll With It. Oh, great! Because he's going to do the can-can, uh, but to the words of the leader of the gang. <laughs> Is he a leader? We'll find out. Not the older! Host to roll with it, Keith Chegwin, with your opposing team captain, Toya Wilcox. <laughs> He's looking well. <laughs> Toya, was, was Noddy a worthy opponent? Uh, I'm a bad loser. We made 15 programmes, so I won one. Yeah. And if I'd known... <laughs> and she beat me up after every show. <laughs> <laughs> if I'd known that you were a walking encyclopaedia, you are so intelligent when it comes to rock and roll, I'd have cheated. <laughs> <laughs> I had to I keep them apart. You still <laughs> lost. <laughs> I had to keep them apart at the end of shows. <laughs> You've worked with them a great deal, haven't you? Uh, yeah, well, actually, I mean, Noddy was one of the first guys that ever had to interview live on TV. And it was, uh, oh, gosh, around about 1976 on the days of the swap shop. Uh, Noddy came down to a hotel uh, in Wadebridge in Cornwall. And I thought, you know, being the sort of genial host, had to look after him. I stayed up till, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you know, I had about two hours sleep, went live on t BBC TV as the sort of whiter than white TV presenter that doesn't drink and doesn't smoke and all things like that. And he blew it all because I turned around and said, Morning, Noddy, how are you? He said, Oh, God, wrecked. He said, What a night I had with you, Cheggers. <laughs> but I'm still here, so are you. <laughs> nice one. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> See you Well, you certainly don't hang about, Noddy. As well as a second career in TV and radio, you're currently carving out a niche for yourself as a comic actor. In the new ITV sitcom Grimley's, you play music teacher Mr Holder. Wakey, wakey, Gordon. Mr Holder, Gordon's cool and popular music teacher. Music appreciation this morning. But he was a bit square when it came to music. Beethoven. <laughs> Now, is this the birth of Noddy Holder Thespian? Let us ask your co-star, Samantha Janus. <laughs> Samantha, is, is Noddy a natural, would you say? Oh, total natural. It was actually a real treat for me, cos, um, I never told you this, but when I was growing up, me and my entire family listened to Slade all the time, and my favourite track was Mama, We're All Crazy Now. And years later, when we were filming the Grimleys, there was this one scene where Noddy was playing in an assembly hall and all the cast and all the crew rushed up there to see this private performance. And he plugged his electric guitar in and there's all this dry ice happening and this voice emerges and he sang that song. And it was just, it was really evocative of that era and it meant a lot to me, so thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 
There was something else to celebrate last year, another touch of gold, your 50th birthday. And Susan, you organised the party. It did really well, got loads of people that I knew not want to see, and it kept that a secret as well, becoming a habit. Um, but there was a group of people I didn't get hold of. I think Slater quite unusual that they had the same road crew that stayed with them a lot through a lot of the years they were together. Um, and I couldn't track them all down, really. Because they were like a family. But they're not far away. Here they are. John <laughs> Crutchley. <laughs> Alan Barrett Lynch. Mick Legg, Charlie Newman, Robbie Wilson, and Willie Wright. A useful bunch of blokes, and with them, just in from America, touring with the Fugees, your tour manager from 25 years ago, Graham Swinnerton. <laughs> That like this yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we're talking about the old days, but you two really do go back. The finest tribute I think I've paid you, Nod, on behalf of all the road crew and especially the ones who can't be here tonight. He was always regarded as one of the lads. He was always trying to get us to play cards, winning money off everybody. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of, the, one of the regular guys, one of the crew. Good man. Swin, Cheers, thank Nod. you very much. Right from the word go, your parents were very supportive of your career and immensely proud of your achievements. But what if your son Django wants to do the same? He's only two now, but the die may be already cast. Take a look at this, recorded at your local. I won't laugh at you when you Star is born. Even though it's way past his bedtime, here is Django Holder. Well, the gang's all here. Noddy Holder, this is your life. Oh, thanks. This is Your Life returns on Monday, the 30th of December, here on BBC One, at the earlier time of 6.50.